solid. I see the grass get long. Snakes, I'm gon' mow it. I'm gon' blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm so rich. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Big bang roll, can't fall. What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 Drum. We're gonna be telling y'all how to install paddle shifters if you do not have any. So, this is gonna be an installation video pretty much. So, I'm gonna give y'all the rundown on how to do it. And also, if you, disclaimer, if you do not have the Z Automotive Taser, it will not work, y'all. Y'all need the Z Automotive Taser. Y'all gotta buy this off at Amazon. First thing that we wanna do before we do anything is. Pull your steering wheel all the way out, scoot your seat all the way the furthest back, and then you gotta roll down your window. So make sure y'all don't pull this all the way back because y'all gonna need as much space for y'all steering wheel as possible. Make sure your seat is all the way back. Then what else what you wanna do is, you wanna pop your trunk, you wanna go to the back and disconnect your negative battery terminal because you don't want no power uh, running to your car because you don't want your airbag to uh, hit you on the face while you're trying to take it out. So that's what we gotta do. So I'm about to take it out real quick after I take uh, the stuff on my So give me one second. All right, so I got that stuff out the way. You need a 10 millimeter wrench or whatever. Y'all know, y'all get the picture. So take the negative terminal out, y'all. Yeah, pull this out and you take it out. So that's what we about to do real quick. Let's see how that goes one half on camera. All right, so we're getting this off. Y'all make sure y'all stick this in y'all pocket. Make sure y'all do not lose this. It will. Okay, there it go. You gotta wiggle it out slowly. Put this to the side. I recommend to do this, to just get this. Up. Not to drop it on the floor like me, but get this and then just screw it on stick it in your pocket so you don't lose it all right and back to the front we go y'all don't forget y'all need a 10 millimeter and then as well do not close our trunk because we don't got no power to the car so y'all know it's the button that we use to open it so leave something to pry your trunk so leave it like this or put something in between y'all. Don't forget, put something in between. And back to the front, and the reason, like I said, we uh, pulled everything and gave us as much space as we need because we disconnected the battery, so now we don't got no power to the front. So now, what we gotta do is go behind the steering wheel, so I'ma show y'all what we gotta do. So y'all gonna need something like an Allen key about something like this size, something like this, because I'm about to show y'all. The steering wheel, y'all see this little thing. Y'all gotta get this inside, and it's a pin that you push. And with those two, that's what pop up the airbag. So it's one on the right side. And then when you come over here, it's one on the left side as well too, y'all. Oh wait, I can't really aim my finger on there on camera. It's right here. So y'all gotta do it on both sides so that you get this airbag to pry open. So we're gonna try to do that real quick and then I'm gonna come back to y'all and show y'all what it's done after. It is hard to get the airbag out, y'all. Y'all will be having to fight with this to try to get it out, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all gotta find the angle uh, to get it in there. And y'all gonna feel something in there to push it. To push forward. Y'all gonna feel it push forward. It's gonna be a click and y'all gonna feel it to it. So when y'all going in this, look for a click. And I can't find it for the left side. Not for the right. Not for the left side. After struggling for so long, I finally got off the right side. You gotta push it for so long, y'all. It's real hard to get out, y'all. Y'all gotta mess with it. I had to use this. I had to switch what I was using. You need something that got a little bit of support, so y'all need something big, y'all. So try to look for like a screw that is this thing that I fit in through there, y'all. And I'm about to try to get the other side. 
after fighting with this, you finally get it off. So what y'all do is, instead of unplugging it, just take it out right here, and then try to just rest it up top. Uh, yeah, you can put it sideways, and then let it rest up here. There you go. So yeah, y'all can get it up here to just lay right here so y'all don't gotta take it out. So now what we gotta do, y'all, is we gotta take these two screws right here out. Child, and what y'all will need is one of these. Shana, you mess them up. Here. Before I was interrupted by my little sister, y'all, and my whole goddamn airbag fell off. So let me rest this back up here. <sighs> Fighting with this goddamn airbag. Y'all, y'all want to turn it. Uh oh. Y'all want to turn it this way, kinda. There you go. And then put it like that. So backwards, y'all. Y'all can get it to just sit up here. Y'all don't got to unplug none of this. Y'all don't got to play with none of this. Y'all good. So, boom. I'm about to go ahead and get one of these. Like I said, y'all going to need one of the stars. I forgot what kind of ones these called, but y'all going to need one of these. So, just figure out which one size y'all need. I'm going to actually tell y'all which one I need after I figure it out. So, give me one second. All right, y'all. So, the size that I found out that work is the T20, y'all. So, make sure you use the T20. All right. So, let me finish showing y'all what it look like. I'm, I was using a selfie stick. But let me just hold my phone sideways, y'all. So use this out using a um just sit that down there y'all i use the t20 to get that out y'all both sides make sure y'all take the boat out right here on both sides that way this will come out i'm about to show y'all what y'all gotta do because after y'all do that that's one on the back so panels these will be right here on the back y'all they pretty much go like this well, I got to flip the wrong way, but y'all get the picture. Go like this. And what I use to get these out, just get like a little flat head and then just pick it out. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, but stick it right through this little thing and it'll flip right out. So um, once y'all do that, after we get there, we need to take out that screw right there. So that's what we're going to take out real quick. Hey, YouTube. This screw right here in the middle this would need to come out and it will be silver. So what we're going to do with the silver screw is we're going to sit that on the left side right there. We're going to sit that on the other side away from this one so we don't get them confused. So you will need the T20 for that one as well to get that out. So y'all need the same star one that we used before. So let me go ahead and get to the other one and I'm going to show y'all how to do that y'all. It should now be able to hang and y'all can see the back. And then we got to get one more screw right here, y'all. And that's how we get this front panel off, y'all. Well, not the front panel, but that's how we get the buttons off. So I'm going to show y'all how to do that. And one second, I'm going to let y'all know what uh, size I use as well. So give me one second. Charles, so we loosened it up. It's this black screw right here. Don't even take it out. Y'all don't even got to take it out. Y'all can loosen it up. And that's for this right here, y'all. Black screw right here. Y'all can lead us in. That's for this right here, y'all. So don't even bother this, y'all, okay? What we got to do is we got to take this out because this is for the paddles. So we're going to take that out and run it. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And first, we got to take this black connection out. That's the one that we got to take out, y'all. So let me do it out real quick. Get this black connection right here out. If I can figure out where is the ring of it. There you go. So we got that out. And what you do is you pull it out right through here, y'all. Boom. And then you take that out and replace it with the new one. This is the right. So let me flip it. Out in the back, as y'all can see, it is a little hole right here. What you want to do is you want to stick this through first. Uh oh, hold on. Let me let me put the camera down and do it, and then I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. Uh, so and like that's what I meant. You run it right through the bottom, and then now what you do is you get that big silver screw and you stick that back in, so that way this will stay in place. So let me do it up real quick so this won't stop. I'm gonna so this will stop falling. Here we go, y'all. We put that grace. I'm at the silver screw back in. So now that I got the uh, paddles back in place, as y'all can see. I now got them in the front. I meant, well, not in the front. I got it on the right side. So now what you want to do is, I'm going to show you how we got to do the wiring on the right side. And then we're going to move on to the left. Now what we're going to do is we want to take this wire and we want to stick it up under here like this. I watched exactly how we, uh-oh. Hold on, let me, let me take it out and show you like that because I had a bad angle. 
pretty much want to do it like this. Uh oh. Boom. If y'all see this little crease right here, that fit right through. Comes up, and y'all got to stick it behind this black thing, y'all. So push it out of place because we don't want anything from the airbag touching. So, hold on. It's hard trying to hold the camera in place and do that. So now what we do is we take this and we plug this back into that connection that we took out the first time. So give me one second. Yeah, so we got it plugged in. Next step, what we want to do is, don't forget, make sure that this wire is pushed behind this as we moving this on y'all. So this, tuck that wire like that up top pretty much. Uh-oh. I'm trying to show y'all and do it at the same time. Make sure this is on here, but make sure that wire, I'm trying to make sure that wire is behind it, y'all. Okay, there we go. And now we got it. So now what we want to do is now screw that in place. Get y'all the screw that we used to put this was the black one. So you need your T20 again. So let me go ahead and uh, screw this in with the T20. And then I'm going to show y'all what the next step is to do. And then let me show y'all the back as well. Oh, wait, give me one second. So y'all, wait, I was giving y'all the wrong way. I apologize. We put this back, right? And take the paddle back off if y'all did, I apologize. This goes on, y'all. And then don't forget the black screw gotta get screwed in, y'all. The black one that we took out. So take out the black one, then you add the paddle on, and that's the silver one. So I'm about to screw this back in and then get y'all what it looked like after. There we go. So now that that's in there, now we put the black one on, then we can put on our paddle shifter. So we got the black screw in. Don't forget, y'all. So we do black screw, black screw, then you go silver screw with the paddle shifter. So now that's the one we about to put in. So I'm about to show y'all what it looked like after. Oh wait, don't forget. You take your panel and you put that back on y'all. So don't forget about that. This is the right, so let's go back on the right. Hey, y'all, so we got the first paddle on. And this feel good, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. From having no paddles to paddles, that look way better to me. So now we gonna uh, go on to the left one. I'll show y'all how to do that one. On to the left paddle, same steps. Let me move this out the way. Um, Like I said, y'all, look at the difference from the new one and the old one. That look way different. Guys, and what we're about to do is we're about to take out the black one right here to get it loose, and I'm about to show y'all what we gotta do real quick. Take it out, y'all, but loosen it. Yeah, uh, same thing for the left side, y'all. We wanna take out the black one instead of the white one. We wanna take out the black one. This, it kinda look a little different from this side because it don't got as much this in a way but um take out the black one disconnect it and then you replace it with the paddle shifter the paddle shifter go in there same process we take out the paddle right here um, let me go ahead and take this out real quick if i can boom got it out take it out pull it off right here just like the last one boom throw that away trash now we run a new one through the back now so let me see if i can do this for one hand probably not i probably gotta do it again like i did the last one but um boom got it through put this upward like this we can just try to get it to sit in place i guess or not but let me set the phone down and stick this connection back in the one that we just took out again take the uh, wire you tuck it in the back and tuck this in the crease it got a crease on both sides y'all and you tuck that right behind the back next we get this uh oh um, don't forget y'all, try to make sure that this wire is behind this as well. Both of them has to stay behind with that screw go in. So let's go ahead and try to get this back in the place where it goes and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay, we pushed it right back in place. It fit right back in place, y'all. So boom, let me go ahead and screw in the black in the back and then we move on to the black one in the front. So give me one second. So now that we tighten the first one to the second. Right here, y'all see it's already in there pretty much. Now we're just gonna tighten this up 
and then we're gonna move to the silver one in the back to tighten up the actual powder shifter all right y'all we got that tightened up now we're gonna move on to the silver one that's in the back for the actual paddle shifter itself. So we're gonna tighten this up and then we're gonna put the steering back, I meant the steering wheel, I meant not the steering wheel, yeah, the, uh, the air rag back in place. All right, true tube, I was fighting with this screw right here because that one is very hard to find, believe it or not, because you got less space over on the left side to work with. So I was fighting with this. So let me go ahead and put the back panel back on and then we're gonna show y'all how to get the steering wheel, I meant not the steering wheel, the airbag back. And now with the steering wheel, flip this. And you go ahead and just push right back in place. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it just clicked right back in place. And now what we do is we go right back to the trunk now and we connect our terminal back with that 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, y'all, so going back to the trunk again. <clears throat> like I said, don't close it because everything is turned off. Now you're gonna take this our bolt that we put in our pocket and uh, put on here, like I said, we're gonna take this off real quick. Little difficult I'm trying to do it with one hand. So give me one second, y'all. Let me. Well, nah. There we go. Got that. But I do need a second hand because yes. Give me one second, y'all. I need a second hand so I can do this real quick. And I'm gonna show y'all pretty much after what we do. Get you too. So I got it back on there. So now we're gonna put all our stuff back in the trunk real quick and I'm gonna show y'all what we do. Hey YouTube, so we back in the car. Ooh! Better with the paddles in here. So now I'm gonna show y'all what y'all do if y'all did have the taser. So let me go ahead. What y'all do is y'all take it, plug it in at the bottom, boom, like so. Y'all gonna see it start flashing, doing its thing. I already got mine, uh, I already got mine pretty much, uh, married and everything, but I'm gonna show y'all what y'all gotta do. And y'all actually don't supposed to have the car actually on or running. I just turned my zone so I can have my battery running because I just disconnected it. So I'm just letting my battery, uh, run a little bit for a quick second. And then I'm about to show y'all boys exactly what we do to, uh, on the screen because I already got mine pretty much well, let me see if I go and drive. Yep, mine's is already married, y'all, pretty much because I got the Z Automotive Taser. So, give me one second, I'm gonna show y'all on the steps on how to do that. Okay, so when you get the taser, you want to turn your car on. Do not put your foot on the gas, put the car on run mode. You will need to go on your gap, your navigation right here. So you press OK. You go all the way down. Uh-oh. Go all the way down to audio, y'all. And what y'all want to do is to navigate through all the settings is you hold the left arrow and then you press and cancel to pretty much select the actual thing. So let me... Damn it. Um... Oh, shit. Hold on real quick, y'all. Let me... Damn, my hands are... Uh, uh, can't reach. Uh, give me one second, y'all. But y'all pretty much go through this and y'all navigate. So let me show y'all. Hey, okay, y'all. So when y'all navigating through it, y'all hold... Like I said, y'all hold the left arrow and y'all click cancel. Y'all go to the performance setting. And, and once y'all go through performance, y'all click, click and cancel till y'all get to paddles. When you get to paddles, guys... Y'all hold left arrow and y'all click this to pretty much select it. So this is how you get okay. This is how you navigate through all the different settings, but this is how you pretty much set okay. So the cruise control button is how you press okay, y'all. So that's what y'all do. Mine's is already set on yes, as if y'all can see that. If it'll focus, I don't know if it will or not. But mine's already pretty much say yes. So that's why mine's already was already working. So yeah, y'all got paddles now. Y'all got active paddles and I'm going to show you all a different video on how to set up the uh, Z Automotive Taser. But make sure you all like, comment, share, subscribe, and we're going to catch y'all boys in the next video. Look at my rack solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm going to mow it. I'm going to blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rock, can't fall.